Hey guys, so I'm just going to do this video today. Uh, it was requested by a couple people and it is the what's in my phone tag. Um, I think the reason that it sort of sparked some interest with a couple people was because I posted a picture on Instagram of a little black, or not black, a little pink, it used to be black and white, a little pink and white zebra striped battery that I have when I plug my phone into charge. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of briefly go over what's on my phone and some of the um, jailbroken features and stuff like that just so you guys can get sort of a better idea um, I just have here the white iPhone 4 it's not the 4s or anything it's just the, the white iPhone 4 um, and I got it when it first came out this is just like a little pink sparkly case that I have on it here I got from Dollarama for like two dollars I just thought it was really cute I have a silver one that's usually on here but I thought I'd switch it up and put the pink on there so yeah um, basically I got the idea of jailbreaking my phone after watching, um, Kelsey, who is K. Marie Whitehead here on YouTube and Twitter. After watching her video of what's on her iPhone, her phone is also jailbroken, so, um, I just thought it was really cool because there are so many things that you can, like, customize and, I don't know, after watching her video, I was just like, I really want to jailbreak my phone. Um, so I debated on it back and forth for like three days because I know that it voids your warranty with Apple and also there isn't a guarantee that your phone will work properly afterwards um, which was kind of the reason that I stayed away from jailbreaking it for as long as I did because I had heard about it a while ago but the fact that it might um, cause my phone not to work properly kind of scared me about it but I don't know. I finally did it after thinking about it for like three days and I downloaded the program on my computer and I did it and it worked. Um, my boyfriend Jill broke his as well and it worked for him so I don't know. Um, I guess it's sort of a hit or miss thing. But yeah. Anyways, I'll just sort of go over the features like I said. So just to get started, you can see here I have like a little zebra slider um, that I thought was really cute. My background just says don't be like the rest of them darling which was actually a picture that Lauren Conrad posted on Instagram. Um, and then up here, you can see my status bars are actually little stars, and they are red, yellow, blue, and then the last two light up purple and green when you have like full single signal strength. Um, and then up at the top there, it says my name, where it would normally say like your phone carrier, like mine is Rogers, so it would normally say Rogers there. Um, but you can customize it to whatever you want. I changed the font on my phone too. I don't, it's nothing like too different um, than normal, but I did change the font on my phone. So when you open it up here, I just have like two and a half pages of apps. I don't really have anything too exciting on here. These obviously are the apps that I use the most. Um, so I'll just quickly go through them I have here. Facebook, Mail, TD Canada, and Capital One are like banking applications. Whoops. Um, I have Live Profile, which is what I actually use to talk to some of the girls that I met on YouTube. Um, because we learned the hard way that it is not free to text between Canada and the US. Then I have App Store, um, Notes, Phone. Down here we have Film IC Pro, which is the program that you can use to autofocus on your iPhone. And then I have Camera, Instagram, Photos, Cydia, Winterboard, Blog TV, Music. And Cydia and Winterboard are programs that you basically get this program when you jailbreak your phone, Cydia. And that's where you download things like, like I don't know, that's where I would have downloaded those signal stars and the, the program that you use to change your carrier name. You download those from Cydia. And then for a lot of it, you use Winterboard to sort of um, apply the things that you download from There's Cydia. like a confusing theory behind it. I didn't really understand all of it until I actually jailbroke my phone. And I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. So it's a little bit confusing at first, but it's pretty cool. And I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but then I have Twitter, Messages, YouTube, and Safari. So before we go on to the next pages, I'll just talk about these little icons that have animal print. Um, you actually don't have to jailbreak your phone to have those. They are from a free program from the App Store called Icons Pro. And you just download the app and you can choose different. They have more than animal print. Like this YouTube icon is from Icons Pro. 
Um, the only thing, it's a pretty good app. Um, the only thing that I would say, there are some apps that are faulty. Like I used to have um, a different icon for messages, but when you would click to go to your messages, it would bring you to a new message every time. So it was kind of annoying because then you'd have to go to cancel and then delete draft or whatever just to get to your inbox. So that was kind of annoying. So some of them are kind of faulty. So I just stuck to the ones that like work properly still. And even still, like if I click on this, it goes to this white page first and then it goes to Twitter. So it's a little bit faulty, but it's still kind of cool. Anyways, on the second page, settings, um, my account, which is just my Rogers account, so I can go on there and check my usage and my phone bill and pay the bill, that type of thing. And then I have contacts, maps, in utilities, I have just like utilities, <laughs> clock, calculator, compass, voice memos. So there's like a glare on here. Stocks, weather, level, an insurance thing, reminders, and the Apple Store. And then next I have backgrounds. So these are just programs that I use or apps that I use to find cool backgrounds in, I don't know. And this is the Icons Pro app that I was telling you about. So you just download that from the App Store and then you can go in there and um, choose all different kinds of icons for whatever app you want. They have like a ton of different kinds, so it's kind of cool. So then we get out of there. Next we have this little lifestyle folder. And in here are just like all of the apps that I do a lot of online shopping with. Sephora, Elf, Victoria's Secret, Love Culture, Forever 21, Shoppers, um, LCBO, which is the liquor store in Canada, or in Ontario, I guess, because it stands for Liquor Control Board of Ontario, American Eagle, Auto Trader, Microsoft Tag, which is just one of those little apps that you can scan those um, like barcodes with or whatever they're called. I don't really know too much about it. Aeropostale and Kijiji, which Kijiji, I don't know if you guys have it in the States or not, but it's basically like Craigslist. In this lifestyle folder, I have um, things like Outlook, Wegjag, Deal Find, Red Flag Deals, and Shop Catch. So just, um, and then down here, I have a music folder, which is just um, Z1035, is a Toronto radio station that I like to listen to. We don't really get it too clear up here where I live, so I live north of Toronto so there's that and then this dock studio thing I got with um, the little dock that I bought for my iPad and Vivo is pretty much like YouTube um, and then music DL is something that I downloaded from Cydia when I jailbroke my phone then I here I have video editing I never use real director I don't even know why I still have it on there if I do um, upload anything from my phone usually vlogs I'll edit it in iMovie and then I have photography, and there's just iLoader Lite, which allows you to upload multiple pictures to Facebook instead of just uploading them one at a time. Um, and then there is Photo Studio, Framtastic, which lets you make those picture collage collages. And then a watermark program, which I have yet to figure out. It's kind of confusing to me. And I just have this games folder, which I really rarely play games, but there's Game Center, Diamond Dash, Temple Run. Words free, draw free, and Angry Birds. That draw free notification is probably Denise waiting for me to take my turn for like three months now. <laughs> you seriously just been sitting there and I just never get around to it. Sorry, Denise. Down here are just like Cydia apps. Um, Byte of Font is an, an app that is used to change the font on your phone. Fake Carrier is the thing that um, I used to change my name up here. And then the other thing I have down here is Instalus. I don't really know what that is completely. Cody kind of downloaded it on there. He knows more about this whole jailbreaking thing than I do. Um, so he downloaded that. Apparently you need it to download some things. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I just have an MTV app. eBay. Um, this eBay icon is also from Icons Pro. And then Nike GPS. And on the last page are just apps that I don't really use too often. I have this little Icons Pro folder because all of the icons that you use from Icons Pro, you still have them on your phone. So I just didn't want duplicate like apps on the phone, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that's making any sense, but I just put them all in a pro or in a folder here. Then I have iBooks, Newsstand, Canada Post, and iTunes. And but yeah.
that's pretty much all that is on my phone. I'll kind of quickly go over some of the features that I have, like aside from these little signal bars and customizing that. Um, my Facebook is yellow. And if you get out of that, what's another thing? Um, oh, my Instagram, I made teal. So up here is like teal and the font's a little bit different. And even when you like scroll down, all these little like comment boxes and hearts are that same teal color. And I downloaded a pink one and a purple one too, so I can switch it up if I want. Like you can just customize literally everything on here. I also, with my text messages, um, change them to this pretty, they say it's red. I say it's coral. <laughs> I think it's a really pretty color. Um, but yeah. And there's that. What else? One last thing that I'll show you, which was the reason this whole video kind of sparked, is when I plug my phone in here. Oops. Um, and then go back to this. There you can see is that it's not really showing up pink because of all the glares and stuff, but the pink and white zebra battery. Um, that I got, but yeah, I'll try and think if there's anything else I've done. If I go back in here, this is black instead of like whatever other color it used to be. I don't know. Mine's black now. I think they call it a status bar. I don't know. Another thing that I customized on here is when you pull this down, um, it's like different colored zebra stuff, zebra stuff. <laughs> zebra print um, little notification center so yeah and then when I go to my phone if I go to the keypad um, it's just like fancy <laughs> I don't know fancy numbers I guess so I think that's really all I've done to my phone so far since I've jailbroken it. There is seriously so many different things that you can do. Um, I just sit there and look through Cydia all the time at all the different things that you can download and customize and it's really kind of crazy. Um, for me, it was definitely worth it. I know that it's kind of a risky decision um, and it's a big decision. I understand that a lot of people don't want to void their warranties, which obviously like that's completely understandable. Um, and the fact that your phone may not work properly after, I don't know. I've n never seen somebody's phone not work properly. I've just heard that. So I don't know. It really is something to consider. But for me, um, I'm so glad that I did it. I love being able to customize everything. Um, I'm one of those people who get bored so easily with everything. So being able to change things up once in a while makes me love my phone even more I guess really because before I even had an iPhone like I just always wanted new cell phones all the time just because I get so bored and need change in my life so it's kind of cool that you can customize this and you can download apps for free and there's a ton of things you can do but that's pretty much all I have to show you guys in this video if you have any questions about jailbreaking your phone or anything let me know um, I'd be more than happy to give you more information um, as much as I can anyways, it's kind of a lot to put in one video. So if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I will be sure to get back to you about that. Um, also, I think that's it. So yeah, just be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I'll put all my Twitter information, my Instagram information down in the bottom. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!